For this particular session, uh, we are using our Cisco Packet Tracer to have a better look at routers. Now, I have the Cisco Packet Tracer running and if you want to access the router, make sure that you have your network device All right, click at this party corner. Of course, there are quite a number of devices between your end devices, your connection, and so forth. But right now, just make sure that you have the network devices and click. And at the bottom, you can actually look for switches, routers, or right, hubs, okay, and so forth. So at this current moment, just look at routers. Now, routers has model brand. Right. and uh, for Cisco Packet Tracer, uh, the routers displayed here are mostly uh, Cisco routers. So routers of different model does different things right? and they are for different purposes. However, they are basically internet working devices. So right now, I'm just going to use the this router 2811. Okay. So I'm going to click it. Can put it on the screen right here okay and I have click it again and basically this is typically what uh, a router will look like so if I were to zoom in okay so a router will look something like this All right so it's a Cisco router you have the power switch and uh, of course you have some port ready but a particular router uh, can actually have modules which are accessible over here or right, at this left portion over here okay and I'm going to just show the one of this module okay which is the this module and every module actually have its own purpose which you can read down here but for this module over here okay it has a serial port all right so i need this module and this is what the module actually looks like over here okay now it will go into all these little slots right you can see them as slot okay and i'm going to make an error right now just to show you what's going to happen now if i'm going to pull this module up and put it into one of these slot i'm going to get this error you're going to say that okay cannot add a module when power is on okay fine because it's not safe anyway. This is the power switch. Turn it off, and you can now insert the module that you want. All right? See? Okay. And remember to turn it on again. Okay. That's the important thing. Now I'm gonna do this for another router. Okay. All right. You can actually do this for a number of routers. Okay just drag and drop it okay and I'm going to repeat this for a while just bear with me all right the module power off and slot them in power on okay one more okay Power off. Slot all this in and power on. All right. Now, of course, when you pull routers onto your design space over here, you will find that they are already given some name like router zero, router one, and router two. But uh, if you do not want this particular name, basically you can change it. All right. So this router is called router zero. Maybe I will call it. Uh, okay, out, and you can see this name is actually changed now to router out or whatever name that you choose to. Okay, you can do the same with your router one and router two. Okay, uh, but right now 
I want to connect the router together, which is I want to connect this router to let's say this router over here. Sorry. Okay, so this router I want to connect to this router over here. Okay. Now to do that, I need to use the connection. So this corner, all right, click it, you will find a various number of cables except for the first one. The first one is something like a wizard. Okay. So uh, of course uh, you can always use the wizard to connect like this and then you will choose the most appropriate uh, cable for you. Okay, but right now I do not want to use the wizard because I want to explain certain things. So let me just delete this. All right. Now I'm going to use these cables because they are serial cable. Most of the time routers are connected through serial cable because router tend to be further apart and they work. Uh, serial connection tends to be better for longer distance transmission. Right. And uh, one of it is actually the DC, which is the communication, and one of it is actually the DTE, which basically is the uh, terminal. All right. So right now, let me just use the serial cable. And I will click here. You would ask me which port do I want to plug this in. So maybe I will use serial port 0, which is S0. And I will connect it to this particular router here. And again, it will ask me what port do I want. So maybe serial 0. See that? All right. So this is how basically you connect routers to router, which is inter-networking devices. Or inside the packet tracer.